Hi, this is Trish again. I'm here to show you how to export data from a MySQL database. So here we go. First, select the database that you want to export data from. Then go to the Export tab. Now, click Custom. Format should be SQL. Here's all the tables, the data, the structure, all that stuff should be checked. Scroll down. You can uh, click this Add Create Database Use Statement if you're planning to export this data to a place where the, you want the database to have the same name and everything else. So you can do that, uh, but most important is this add drop table. Once that's done, you can just hit go. And then this will just uh, drop the SQL file onto my desktop. I'll just save it. And just kind of to show you what this looks like, I'll grab the SQL statement. That's what the file looks like. You can see I'm running XAMPP. And if I open this with Sublime Text, you can see here's all of the commands that it will give to the database. Now, what's important about this uh, add drop table, basically, if you want to update your database, let's say you're going from home to school and from school to home, and if you make any sort of changes or updates in your database, that way it, you can keep your data consistent. So drop table, if exists, allows you to re-import that data into a new table. It'll get rid of the old table and create a brand new table. So that's why that's important. Back to our database. And so that's all done, right? If I wanted to make a new database and import the data to a new database, let's just call this um, blog. BK for backup. I'll just create a new database. And then I can turn around and import that data. Now this is just kind of pretend I have a new database and I need to import this data into the database. So um, then I can just choose file, go to my desktop, find my SQL file, and hit go. So now when I go back to the structure of the database, you can see that the backup here, categories, comments, links, posts, users, uh, is the same as what's here, categories, comments, links, posts, users. If I go and I browse categories, for example, I have one, two, three, four categories, miscellaneous, tutorials, recipes, reviews. And if I go to categories in here, it's the same exact thing. You can see that the database name has changed, the table is the same. Miscellaneous, tutorials, recipes, reviews. Same thing. Click on the new, tab uh, the new table, same thing. Miscellaneous, it looks exactly the same because it is the same. The data is the same across both databases. And there you have it. How to export and how to import. Done.